Now, that night, uh, you started a little feud with Mark Briscoe. Can you talk about your match at the upcoming pay-per-view? Um, yeah, um, I'm, I have a tons of respect for Mark. Um, he's one of the guys um, that I met when I did the tryout, um, and he's been supportive and been helping me out through this whole whole um, journey, but... One thing I will say to talk about the pay-per-view, I did what I did because, um, I mean, what a better way to get to get to get attention from his older brother, who's currently our champion, than to beat up his, his little brother, right? Yeah, true. So I mean, I don't have to go through all the talent and climb the line and climb the line and have first contender matches and all this crap and wait on the whole long line of, oh, who's going to get the next title shot for Jay Briscoe's or champion. I would just beat up his brother, and maybe his brother will go back to him and be like, hey, Moose is a bad man. So that's why I did what I did. Good thought. Now, coming up in Atlanta, you're somewhat uh, home away from home. Uh, you, you're being cornered by NFL great John Abraham. How cool is that? Um, that's very cool. Um, that's actually, a bit, I, I look at him, I don't want to look at him as a friend. I think we're past that. I look at him as my big brother. So for him to support me through, and he's been very supportive with me through this whole journey. And I spoke to him a few days ago, maybe a, a few days ago, and he told me he was going to be in town because he actually lived here and he lives in other states too, but he actually lives here too. He told me he was being in town, and I told him we had a show, and the rest is magic. And he's going to be there to support me as I go in, there and go in the match and have a battle with ACH, which he's one of the best the best high flyers in the world, if not the best, and one of the best athletes that Ring of Honor has to offer. So I'm looking forward to that match. Nice. Now, I think your future is whatever you want it to be in the wrestling business. I think you're just one of those like can't miss stars. And if WWE or Ring of Honor you know screws it up, I think it's going to be on them. But do you have any goals or aspirations uh, left in the business? Like anything you really oh, you know have to accomplish? Oh yeah, I mean I'm I'm just getting started, so I have a tons of goals, man. Um, definitely want to be in the in the near future. I want to be a Ring of Honor champ. If it's the world title or if it's even second to being a TV champ, I want to have a Ring of Honor title around my waist. Um, it, so, I mean, right now, I am i don't like to talk about the future because I can't see what the definite future has for me. But I'm saying something for right now that I'm working on is having a Ring of Honor title around my waist. Very nice.